Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Good morning, I'm Danita Harris. And I'm Katie Yusin. We have a look at your top stories on this Tuesday, July 21st. Riots stemming from the death of George Floyd brought chaos to downtown Cleveland on May 30th. They caused $3 million in damage to local businesses. This issue came up during yesterday's Cuyahoga County meeting as leaders explained why that number is higher than initial estimates. There were additional applications that were received um, and I believe um, um, at this point um, we now, uh, as uh, Paul indicated, we now have 103 applications in total. For now, the county is planning to help offset the damage costs insurance don't cover. The board already approved $100,000 in funding, but yesterday that request climbed to $400,000. We should be getting a list of the businesses seeking that help this week. Cleveland police say the officer who was shot at a home on the city's east side early yesterday morning is still at University Hospitals. Police didn't tell us how she's doing, but we've learned she was shot in the arm and back. The man accused of shooting her wasn't hurt when the officer returned fire. He is in custody this morning. Both the Greater Cleveland and Stark Area RTAs are offering free face coverings today. Sarda is handing out masks at four transit stations between 9 and 11 o'clock this morning. You can pick one up every Tuesday and Thursday at the Alliance, Massillon, Belden and Cornerstone Centers. While the state continues to urge people to get tested for the coronavirus, many labs are backed up. So now the Summit County Health Commissioner is asking all Ohioans to hold off on testing if you are not showing any symptoms. If you are showing symptoms or have been exposed to someone who's tested positive, call your doctor and get their medical advice first. And you're waiting for your results? Stay home as you're waiting for results. Stay home and stay away from others just in case your test comes back positive. Free pop-up COVID-19 tests will be available in Rootstown today for anyone who wants one and is taking place at Northeast Ohio Medical University in campus parking lot B. That's on the south side of the campus. Testing is drive up only and it runs from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Let's get a check on your Tuesday weather. Here's meteorologist Trip McGill. Thanks a lot, Danita. Got a few showers, maybe a couple rumbles of thunder rolling through this morning. This will impact our drive for the first part of the day. By lunchtime, a lot of that, though, should be out of here. Then we're going to shift our focus off towards uh, what's going to come this afternoon. I've got a little bit of a wind shift, and yeah, I've got the showers rolling through for the first half of the day, but the second half of the day, numbers are actually going to be changing quite a bit. Here's lunchtime. Look at the heat. Now look at these north breeze. Temperatures actually going to be holding back a little bit. Our next shot at rain rolls in here tomorrow morning. It's going to be from a, a decaying or a fading uh, squall line of thunderstorms that develops this afternoon. It'll be fading across northern Ohio tomorrow morning, and then we'll get another round tomorrow afternoon. I'll show you that on our seven day forecast coming up in a little bit here. Got a couple rounds of rain. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.